Hi, we're here today to look at the QuickShot XRF handheld analyzer, a common solution for hazardous substance identification and a variety of other applications. Right now we've got the instruments set up in our uh, portable stand so that when you're on the road or working from a lab you can create a desktop style uh, testing piece of equipment and it's helpful for hands-free use. Uh, using the removable PDA here. We're going to do a quick review of the system using the ROHS software. We begin by initializing the unit using our silver piece. Place that on top of the uh, nose. Initialize. We have the silver in there and we press OK. This is going to bring everything back into alignment and get the system operating at its uh, peak performance level. And this is something that should be done uh, at least once a day when you fire up the system. The more times you do it, the better results you'll see, more uh, repeatability and accuracy. You can see here that it is initializing. It says initialization complete. We'll hop back to the main menu. Then we want to go uh, start our uh, analysis. We're going to be using a reference standard here today, the PE Low. Put that on top of our analyzer. Close the instrument stand chamber. Press start. You can save this and uh, any other tests under a uh, sample name which you can use to uh, review and uh, analyze later on. We've got this set up at a 60 second uh, measurement right now. You can see down here in the corner we are at two seconds. As the uh, test proceeds, you can flip to the spectrum to review what's happening. It has a nice zoom in, zoom out feature. You can see the curves starting. You can look at the information, and that's how the system's running. And then, of course, we can review the test results as they come in. And all of this information, again, is saved under the sample name which is uh, just generic this time but you would typically put down uh, you know sample piece test one and the date and then you can take that and review in the history a uh, variety of your tests and use that to create reports. We see the spectrum continues we're at 35 seconds right now information is always going to be the same and we want to go result of the spectrum and we see the results coming in. This is set up for the major elements in the ROHS applications, also helpful in CPSIA. Uh, that is a brief example of how this system can get you some accurate results on hazardous substances. And as we're winding down here, we see the lead content sitting about 480. The sample piece itself is right in that range, good accurate results nice and fast and uh, that can be changed from 30 to 300 seconds even shorter for certain applications and that's a brief overview of the QuickShot XRF handheld analyzer calibration procedure